Okay, so this is going to be a new series looking at getting started on Age of Empires 2. Uh, it can be quite a steep learning curve for new players. So I'm just going to introduce the game to try and help those who are not familiar with, with the game at all and getting started. So the first thing that I would recommend doing is when you start is to click on learn to play and go through the learn the basics William Wallace campaign. Uh, you can start on any difficulty for this one but standard is perfectly fine there's no there's no need to change the difficulty there and play through these seven campaigns is a good way to get started. So I may as well just play through these campaigns, giving a bit of a we taste are for how it'll go. The dead king of Scotland has no heir. War creeps in from the south, what Edward Longshanks, the avaricious king of England, has returned from successful campaigns in Wales and France. As Longshanks turns his attention to Scotland, the shadow of fear settles across the highlands. The English have thousands of Welsh longbowmen, hundreds of knights on horseback, and dozens of siege weapons. We Scottish have a rabble of untrained soldiers who do not even know how to march in a straight line. We must act soon. If we are to have any chance of resistance, we need to forge an army by any means necessary. Okay, so the main objectives here is just to follow the instructions to reach the Scottish village. Um, have a look at the hints. You can scroll to view more of the map by moving your mouse to the side of the screen. For example, move your mouse to the very bottom of the screen to scroll down. Obviously that won't work until I close this. And there's the scouts report. So the main thing I would do is getting started. Just follow- The English are terrorizing all of Scotland and it's time for us to fight back. But if we are to defeat them, every one of us will need to learn how to march and fight. Follow the path to the blue flag. First, click the soldier. Okay, so left click to select the soldier. Good. Now right click near the blue flag. Bid fear. Good. Now move to the next flag. Click the soldier, then right click near the flag. Oh. Already got the soldier selected, so I'll just continue moving on. Excellent. Now to move to the next flag, you must walk through the black area. Oh. Moving into the black area reveals more of the map. The black area represents unexplored territory. That's all there is to it. Now go to the next flag, where you will meet some allied soldiers. In here. To move all your soldiers at once, click near the units and drag around them. Then right click to move them. Try moving your soldiers to the next flag. Alright, so instead of just left clicking the soldiers, I can just drag select. So you left click and hold, and that'll select all of them. And you can see they move in a nice, a nice group. Did all your units make it to the flag? The road ahead is guarded by an English outpost. Scroll up to the outpost building by moving the mouse to the very top of the screen. Then click the red outpost. So I can control the map just by Bid fear. placing my mouse towards towards the, towards the edge of the screen. So I've got my Group selected here. Right click the outpost to attack it. And you can see the cursor changes to the sword. You can also scroll in and out with the scroll wheel. The 
almost as destroyed. That should slow the English raids. Oh. Keep following the path of the village. Bid fear. Home sweet home. But wait. The English are angry that you destroyed their outpost. They're coming to attack your village. Oh. Don't panic. Just click your soldiers and right click the red oh. English soldiers to attack. Defeat the enemy soldiers and you'll have won your first battle. Good job. Now you know how to fight back against the English army. So the first campaign is fairly straightforward. Um, the main goals there are learning how to move units, move the screen, and how to attack. So left click and right click. Scotland has soldiers now, if only a few. But if we are to turn back the greed of Edward Longshanks, we'll need many more recruits and much more gold in our coffers. These ancient stones and oaks around us will soon be drenched with the blood of clansmen. So, in every game, there will be a statistics screen that appears at the end, and yeah, we'll look at that a little bit uh, in more detail later. But for now, we'll just go to the next level. <laughs> 